Welcome to Riders Field in Frisco, Texas, for one of the premier college baseball tournaments, the Frisco College Baseball Classic. Alongside Mike Harge, my name's Chris Mykoski. We're thrilled that you're spending part of your weekend with us. And what better way to spend a Friday afternoon in the office than to turn on your Flow Sports app and check out day one of this tournament. Kaminska, last year's American Athletic Conference Freshman of the Year. All-conference first team honors. That one's down the left field line. That'll score Michael Seegers. And the Iowa Hawkeyes score the first run of the 2022 Frisco College Baseball Classic. An RBI double from Keaton Anthony. You talked about it. You talked about how hot he's been all season. And he continues to tear the cover off the baseball. Got a ball in and smashed it down the third base line. And you can see the base runners being aggressive and the ball got down the line. Williams comes sliding into third base, but that was a double all the way. Great piece of hitting right there. Had a lower back issue for a big part of January. Thought he might have to sit out a little bit to start this season. But has been really good so far. Into left center, caring for Thornhill. He'll make the grab. But plenty of time for Wooden to tag from third. 2 nothing Hawkeyes. As Honar has the first out of the game, but it's enough to plate Williams. As Jace Kaminska continues his work on the hill, clad in the all black Wichita State uniforms today. We've got the classic look for Iowa and into right field. Williams got a hold of this one. Out of the park. Peyton Williams. We mentioned it sure looked like he could knock the tar out of a baseball. 6'5", 255, and he rocks the first home run of the Classic. Bang, bang. He hit that thing. We talked about it. I told you right before about how when he hits the ball, it sounds a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we got a chance to see. He got something up and he got it out. I was starting to talk about the fashion on the field and I heard <laughs> that bat hit that baseball. I was like, ooh, it's not storytelling time right now. Three balls, two strikes, one out to Frazier. A rip to left on a line and over oh. the head of Thornhill. Anthony scores. Frazier stops at second. Iowa goes up four to nothing. Frazier knew he had to be swinging, so he came back ready to take a hack. Came back with another fastball. He drove it out to left field, and it was on the line, but it did not sink. It stayed up. And so it went over Sawyer Thornhill's head for another double. And you, I'm sure, know that feeling as yes. I do <laughs> when that ball carries over your glove because you misplayed it slightly. That heart just falls. <laughs> well, we talked to Coach Wedge. He was talking about this guy shows up every single day. He's a hard worker and the guy that you want to see at the plate at this time. I said it a little while ago, right man, right spot, and here he is. Hitting 316. First pitch swinging past Shore. First run of the day for the Shocker. It's 4-1 to one, Iowa, RBI single by Thornhill. Didn't wait around. He went out to the mound to talk to Mazer. And Sawyer Thornhill got the pitch that he wanted and drove it into right field just past the diving second baseman. Sure, he did everything he could to keep it on the infield just out of his reach. Nice short compact swing by Thornhill. Coach Wedge said he has big time power. They would love to see it right now. 1-1. One, one. High fly ball to Frazier. In front of the track. Now on it. Makes the grab. No, he doesn't. Out of his glove. Not part of the wall off. And the Shockers. Plate all three runners. We're tied. 
Wow. We talked about his power, and it didn't look like he got all of that ball, but the wind is blowing a little bit out to left, and he just kept drifting in left field and went off the side. And in that corner, as you could see, it's kind of cut out in that area, so it's kind of hard to judge that. They just drifted too far into that. Into right field, Anthony giving chase, can't get to it. Extra bases for Brock Rodden. He's running to third. Sliding head first, safe. Triple for Brock Rodden. Brock Rodden got a fastball that he could handle. And it looked to me as if Anthony had a bead on this. But this ball was really really well and it looked like Anthony thought he had a great play on it but that ball just kept going away from him and here we go runner on third with guess who Sawyer Thornhill to the, the plate Christopherson with a nasty breaking ball down and in on him just now the 0-2 gets it through the infield was playing in and Wichita State able to take advantage. Hornhill hits it through this hole, and Rodden scores. Shockers have the lead. Right man, right spot. It's something we've talked about the entire game. Sawyer Thornhill, one of the best hitters on this team. You talked about it. Coach Wedge calls him a mature hitter. He got a pitch up. The breaking ball was up, and he got it through the hole. When no offering. Past the diving Michael Seegers. That score Sawyer Thornhill. RBI single by Chuck Ingram gives the Shockers a two run advantage. Look, Ingram, that is his first hit of the day. But he has squared up every single ball today, and he finally got a ball through the center field. Another look. Had a great attempt by Seegers. Couldn't get the glove on it. And that keeps this inning alive for the Shockers and forces a pitching change for the Hawkeyes. 